The coveted and elusive Salesforce admin certification is finally mine. This one badge is proof that I know my shit. Getting here was not easy and my goal is to provide you with a blueprint of how I got my admin certification. So let's begin to learn more about Salesforce certifications and how to become a certified Salesforce administrator. Day 1 to 11 Learning from Trailhead Trailhead is the best place to start learning Salesforce. As a CRM company, Salesforce wants us admins to be the cheerleaders of their product. Trailhead makes it super easy to learn the system and play around in your own playground. As mentioned on their homepage, it is the fun way to learn Salesforce. If you're just starting out on your admin career and not sure where to start, I've created a trail mix for you. Once you're registered on Trailhead, head on over to this link for a customized trail just for hashtag awesome admins. Sign up for a free dev or get https colon slash slash developer.salesforce.com slash sign up. Want access to the practice test questions? You can enroll in the practice test and take it as many times as you'd like. Day 12 to 20 mock tests. You will find that there are a plethora of places where admins can take mock tests. I did a combination of three separate places that helped me a lot. One of them was by far the most comprehensive as far as featuring real questions asked in the admin exam. First I signed up for salesforcepin.com If you've been around the SFDC block a while then you've probably read one of Ben's articles. He has a great blog about everything related to Salesforce. I signed up for mock test which is $10, paid via PayPal. To sign up you can go to salesforcepin.com slash sign up. Once you sign up you will be redirected to PayPal to complete the payment. Upon successful completion, users will then be redirected to the members on the area. This is where you can take the mock exams for admin 201. There are some other exams listed in here as well i.e. advanced Salesforce admin, platform app builder, sales cloud, and marketing cloud email specialist. Overall, Ben has done a great job of organizing these exams. Some of the questions from the administrator exam 2017 did appear in my February 2018 admin certification exam. 2. Web Assessor Practice Test Web Assessor is the platform used by Salesforce for proctoring these exams. When registering for an exam you also have the option to register for a mock exam. It will cost you $20 for this mock exam and you can only take it once. The one big problem I found using this method was the lack of clear answers. Once you go through all 60 questions, 65 when taking the real exam, you get a pass slash fail grade along with areas where you performed well versus where you were lagging. These are the results of the mock test. As you may notice, you're only provided with an aggregate percentage in the 12 different categories. You have no clue on what were right or wrong answers. Another thing to keep in mind when taking the mock exam after you've spent your $20, you do not get to retake it. Lucky for you, I took screenshots of all the questions and have converted them into an online form. You'll have to Google what the correct answers are. The screenshots give you a good idea on how the actual proctored exam would look like. Please note that as of November 16, 2017, all Salesforce certification exams will contain five additional, randomly placed, unscored questions to gather data on question performance. The duration of each exam has been evaluated and adjusted to accommodate the inclusion of the unscored questions. These five questions will be in addition to the 60 scored questions on your exam, and will have no impact whatsoever on your score. 3. Online Quiz The last, and most important, thing that I would attribute towards me successfully getting the Salesforce Administrator certification has to be the online quiz I created for my own practice purpose. I had attended a user group meeting recently, where I made friends with another Salesforce developer. He happened to mention that someone he knows may have a few questions related to the Salesforce Certified Administrator exam. I didn't think anything of it at the time. However, a month later he delivered on his promise and emailed me an Excel file with 89 questions. Out of the 89 questions at least 60% were asked in the certification exam. The passing grade is 67%, which may and I only needed to answer another 4.55 questions correctly. Being that I do know my stuff, this wasn't hard to do. See my final scorecard below. That's a total score of 85%. Day 21 to 24 Online Practice Test The last few days were dedicated entirely towards taking that one test which helped me with over 60% of the answers. Now, I want you to know that I did not just start with the Salesforce.com platform. I've been a Salesforce admin since June 2015. I did not know anything about Salesforce when I first started. However, through trial and error and the awesome trailblazer community of Salesforce experts I was able to make my way to understanding Salesforce and getting my certification. One thing to note about Salesforce admin certification is the cost. The admin 201 certification cost is $200 for the exam and then $100 for the retake. You can retake the exam up to 10 times, I sure do hope you don't have to retake it at all. You can now register for all your certifications right from within Trailhead. Want access to the practice test questions? You can enroll in the Salesforce admin training and take it as many times as you'd like. Head on over to sftmastery.com slash practice test. Day 25 to 27 relax. 
Three days before the test, I actually quit the frantic activity of online test taking and took some time to just relax. I was still using Salesforce in my full-time job so it's not like I completely quit Salesforce before the exam. Giving yourself some downtime might be good for the noggin. A final piece of parting advice, after finishing all 65 questions you will have the option to review all. I did go back and review all of the questions and their selected answers. Upon doing this I did find that some of the answers I had selected were incorrect. This of course only applies if you have extra time to do it. And there you have it hashtag awesome admins the blueprint to cracking the Salesforce certification exam. Do you have a recommendation or a resource that has worked for you? Mention it below in the comments.